10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. A few minutes ago, it sounded like the 4th of July on the National Mall as the hometown Redskins were introduced to this sold-out crowd. They are set to go as their guys will match up with the San Francisco 49ers. A first carry for the former Falcon, Tevin Coleman. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Plays like that, when you see the athleticism of a guy over 300 pounds, you, you forget that they can do that. They're so athletic. Yeah, and I love how it all came together. He won the leverage battle at the line of scrimmage. Then he won the battle with his hands to shed the blocker. And how about the agility to get into the backfield and run him down? Now a deep ball here, hauled in just past the 50. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And that goes for a gain of 31. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What, does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Matt Breed out of Georgia Southern now in his third year in a 49er uniform. He was tough to keep off the field last year. Very good yards per carry. 5.3 on 153 attempts. Good for over 800 yards rushing. From the 41, Garoppolo. That's complete to a speedy wideout Goodwin. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins' 22-yard line. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. Yeah, just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. Garoppolo on the draw to Coleman. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Pretty effective blitz there to stop the draw play right in its tracks. And actually, when they blitz, draw play is supposed to work very well. You're supposed to have them bypass the runner, and he slips past them. But they put their eyes in the right place, took away all the creases, and slowed him down in a big way. Drops it off for Coleman. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up the fourth down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. CD, you know, there were quite a few Bears fans back in January saying, why didn't we hold on to that Robbie Gold guy? Well, it's a legitimate question. 33 of 34 for San Francisco in 2018. The crazy stat of the year, he missed more extra points, too, than he did field goals, one, in the 2018 season. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. 
And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. As Washington comes back out here offensively, it gives us a chance to talk about their Week 6 win, their first of the season. Now, granted, it was against Miami, who was still winless, but they got the job done, defended a two-point conversion in the dying moments of that game to secure the victory. Hashtag HTTR. Cue the music. Everyone has to be happy to get that first win. We know that they let Jay Gruden go as their head coach October the 7th. Bill Callahan has taken over as the interim guy. He was our offensive line coach. So what will he want to do with that offense? Run the football. That's what he said his opening press conference. And how did they run it against Miami? 145 yards, and AP was over 100 in that game. Yeah, he's going to be very happy to have Bill Callahan as the interim head coach. And now they get ready for San Francisco. Then they go to Minnesota, and they go to Buffalo. No gain on the dump off. It's second down. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. Here goes the hot. Watch it hot. Hey, we got to get this stop here, D. Check, check. Here goes the hot. This is Chris Thompson in his seventh season now as a Redskin. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Big stop, let's go! Keenum. Blitz coming and down he goes. Getting the sack, the 227-pound linebacker, Quan Alexander. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak, no running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. Second and goal from the six this time. Shotgun handoff to Thompson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Here goes the hot. I play hot hot. Mike 54. I hope you brought your left because I'm about to take you to school. From the gun, it's Keenum. This is caught. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. So now on fourth down, the Redskins will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Go a little tennis on me. I know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? What was the return on? It was a backhand. I and like a that really one. good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the a little, little bit. thing. A little I bit. love it. Almost yeah. a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. San Francisco takes back over possession of the football. That 5-0 start that we discussed, Charles, first time that they've been 5-0 since 1990. And remember, this is a team that in 2018 won four games, so they've already surpassed that. And this is what happens in the NFL. 
things change and they change in a hurry. And they had been compiling talent. Now it stayed healthy and they're playing really well, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And a lot of people are like, well, the Rams, how are you going to do against them in their defensive front, especially with both tackles not playing? They did quite well. This team has a lot of confidence now, and they will be a factor the rest of the season. And you look ahead, they will go to Washington and then home for a couple against Carolina and Arizona as they try to remain undefeated. Yeah, they could get to November undefeated and really be the story of this NFL season. And that's for a right sideline here is complete. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. Well, oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. On now is the 27-year-old rookie, Mitch Wisnowski, to punt as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Super just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The interim head coach Bill Callahan really wants to run the football and do so with Adrian Peterson, so he figures to be a big beneficiary, and he had a strong game in Miami week six, the first game that Bill Callahan was the interim head coach, 118 yards on 23 carries, and remember, this is a guy in AP who at 34 years old was a healthy scratch in week one. Defensively, Jimmy Ward in on the stop. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense Break going forward. From the gun on third down, Keenum. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. And I think the end result, knocking the ball away, was a product of understanding where they were on the field, understanding how many yards they needed to pick up the first down, and tightening their coverage accordingly. Gave them no gaps, no spaces, no real air in which to catch the football and end up making a really nice play. Now this is going to work out well as it's out of bounds near the 13-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 13. Garoppolo after the fake give to Brita. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Kittle last year, what a season. 1,377 receiving yards, an NFL record for tight ends en route to his first Pro Bowl. Not bad for the former fifth-round pick. As you, I remember that game December against Denver. He had that monster first half, 210 yards. Did not have a single catch in the second half, but still those 210 yards were just four yards shy of Shannon Sharp's single-game record for a tight end. And the Redskins have an extra man of the secondary here on third. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. This is Coleman with a grab. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. 
Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fielded just inside the 30. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 42. They start the drive with Peterson. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's the Redskins in possession of the football as they've got it second and seven. On second and seven, Keenum. And his throw is incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, and we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. He's got Thompson here, complete. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. On first down, it's Thompson. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. Cut, cut, cut. On second and seven. Keenum. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there. And that takes us from second to third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Redskins on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. A shotgun snap for Keenum. And he drops this off to Thompson complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 29-yard line. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. A redskin first down, the pickup 15 yards. That man, Terry McLaurin, maybe an early dark horse for rookie of the year and really one of the lone bright spots offensively for Washington. McLaurin had his second 100-yard game of the year, week six in the win over Miami. Reeled in touchdown catches four and five of the young season. And if you go back over the last 20 years, only he and Calvin Ridley have been able to have that many touchdown grabs in the first month and a half of the season. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. On second down, Peterson. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skills showing the power, but just not much room to operate. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. Makes it third and four. Watch the back, watch the 
They fake the handoff. Now Keenum. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jack Whiskey Tart. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And the drive starts with a handoff to Coleman. And they'll get him down up past the 15. 13 yards there and a Niner first. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was, whatever's in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. Thanks to that last play, a little more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. On first down, here's Breida. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On second down, a run with Breida. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. Goodwin able to haul it in. And he's going to be out up we around the 45-yard line. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. And the 49er first down. Here we go, here so we go, after here we two go. first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Garoppolo gives to Breda. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Washington territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They run with Breda. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. That was shades of Tennessee volunteer football back in the 80s with Charles Davis coming up from the secondary to make the tackle for a loss. You mean my teammates doing that, right? Because they would tell you, my coach would say, where is that tape? I want to see that. But how about the complete package there? Not just playing the pass, but being a willing tackler and making a really nice play. 18 yards, first down, Niners. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Out of the shotgun, Breida. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing go, yourself, go. thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because you just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. The Niners on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and 11. Garoppolo now. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. 
So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So out now come the Redskins. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate, and of course they'd like to forget the inning, the interception, but they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one. And down he goes. Keenum is sacked. Nick Bosa. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations, because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now the second down throw on target. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. The Redskins on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. Now Keenum. And this is going to be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that one will skip out of bounds as the linesman will mark this thing right at the 15-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled hey, go, and go, hit from go. distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes. And they were able to put the receiver go, on the go. ground. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. To throw is Garoppolo. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Well, Pettis is quickly becoming the number one receiving option for Jimmy Garoppolo. Into last year, John Lynch said that they loved the way he closed the season, really came on late. Remember, this is a guy that they traded up to get at number 44 back in 2018 out of the University of Washington. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded just inside the 20. Whoosh! A very good return that time. 18 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Out comes the Redskin offense now as they get set to begin another possession and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, 
You start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. A big seam, and he might go all the way. Touchdown, Washington. Chris Thompson, 64 yards. And the Redskins are going to retake the lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Extra point good by Hopkins, and that will make this a four-point game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 26. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. That's caught. It's Coleman. 18 yards, first down Niners. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it go, to him in go. space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Here we go. Black 80. Check 53. Black. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their size to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now. Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo, that's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. A good pick up go. there, 21 Here yards. Here we go. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. Here we go, here Garoppolo on the offense with a first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Looking to throw. Garoppolo over the middle. He finds Pettis complete. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime.
Here we go, here 49ers we go. with their first trip to the red zone thus far. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. James has got it, complete. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. Off the edge, the sack by Matt Ioannidis. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. Go, and Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Garoppolo looks to throw. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle there to make the grab. And the 49ers have retaken the lead. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Are you looking forward? Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. From the 31, Keenum to Thompson on the screen. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. Go. 
this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Watch the run, watch the run. <laughs> the final shot before half for Keenum. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, this one taken from the seven. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching. And the Niners get there and bring him down. D Ford in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. They'll run with Thompson. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? On third and long, it's Keenum. Time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Nick Bosa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And that's his second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And this will pin him nicely inside the 20 as it's out of bounds at about the 14-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, here we go, here we go. not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Defense, we got the, de we got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breda. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. It's a first down on a gain of 10. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. This is Breda. Room here to run. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going go, in the running go. game. Snap comes at one. Garoppolo. That's complete to a speedy wideout Goodwin. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Let's go. Let's go. 23 yards, the final tally. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, 
bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Pettis hauling this in from Garoppolo, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 for the Niners there to first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now it's Breda. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Here we go, here we go. Wait, Ain't no such thing as a loss. We take a win. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. This one complete to Coleman. Only a yard on the completion. It's second and goal. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Now from back at the nine after that last play, this is third and goal. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Man open, it's Goodwin. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. Gold with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Man, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw and a good one. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it third and one. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They have to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Again, a run with Thompson. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. 
I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. To throw, it's Keenum. He's got it complete to Thompson. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. To Thompson on the draw. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. They go with Thompson again. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at the 20. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Here we go. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Looking to throw Garoppolo. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. Okay, now I want to revisit what we were doing earlier, contender versus pretender. We did the AFC. Let's rock the NFC here, starting with the New York Giants. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Pretender, but much improved. Okay, <laughs> NFC North, how about the Vikings? Contender, no doubt about it. Carolina in the South, what do you think there? Contender and ascending. Okay, the quarterback play has become a good thing for them. Finally, out west, how about the Arizona Cardinals? Pretender, the division's just way too tough. They're three teams better than them. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Here we go, here we go. Garoppolo, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Garoppolo now. His throw incomplete. George Kittle, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Garoppolo again. He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't. And a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to end up with a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> Garoppolo. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent game. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, with that marker. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And Gold is able to put it through. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. 
So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. A marker down. He does get it up past the 25. Will it hold? Let's see. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins' offense. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's something got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Looking to throw again on second down. Keenum. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Keenum now to throw. And he finds McLaurin. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Again, they'll throw with Keenum. And finding Davis here, the tight end. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Keenum throwing once more. That's going to be caught by Richardson. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. They'll run on first down. It's Thompson, and he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Back to the ground. This time it's Peterson. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. A shotgun snap for Keenan. And that is incomplete. 
But partner, anytime someone tells me that fundamentals are leaving the game, I'm going to show them this play because they couldn't get to the passer. So what do you have to do? Get your hands up in the passing lane, and they batted it away on a third down attempt. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Hopkins' kick is good, and that gets them back within 10. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points, and will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Second and 10 now from the 27. Here's Breda. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there, and now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. To throw is Garoppolo, and that will be incomplete critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. He steps into this one and this is a rocket. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term, complimentary football, because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And a productive gain out to the 14 after starting at the 7. It's a gain of 7. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Keenum. Complete. Richardson has it. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. I got you. I got you. Keenum now on first down. To Thompson on the screen. 
No gain on the screen there. It's second down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. He's going to air one out. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. To the air again, Keenum. Open man is Quinn, able to connect. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 25 yards that time. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Back to throw, Keenum. He's got Thompson here, complete. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here, and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Throwing now is Keenum. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense in every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Another try after the first down sack. Keenum. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Well, they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. From the gun, it's Keenum. And that's knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker Fred Warner right there on the coverage. And that incompletion was caused by the defense. I think they were trying to get one into the middle of the field, trying to find a receiver there. But they were in zone defense. And what are the advantages of being in zone? Eyes and reaction. Eyes meaning all eyes are on the quarterback and able to react when he throws the football and rally to that spot. And that's exactly what happened there. Able to get there and knock it away. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. We're following the made field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. This will be fielded at the six. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. 
Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline go, is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Tackle made by the Pro Bowl safety, Landon Collins. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins' 45-yard line. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, here we go, here didn't we go. get a sack, Mike didn't 20. knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. There's Garoppolo to throw. Got the connection here to Bourne. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Garoppolo after the fake give to Brita. Man open, it's Goodwood. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards on the play. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. chalk into the end zone it's a 49er touchdown from 10 yards out there the Niners are able to stretch their lead well it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that well it's a two score game you're inside of two minutes I think you can breathe relatively easily now yeah you can but still you got to stay vigilant can't give up anything cheap and easy that could put you in some jeopardy Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Keenum and the Redskins down by two touchdowns. A minute 55 remaining. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Keenum on first down. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. The intended target was the rookie, Terry McLaurin. But it'll be second down. I think that's a big-time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get My to God. the football, that's why he's able to bat it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw is Keenum. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. see him go for it here on fourth down no reason not to down a couple of scores they have to try and make something good happen all right they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down they're going for it on fourth down keenum looking left side and he's got a man it's richardson and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Redskins have the first down on a pickup of 18. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now a first down throw, Keenum. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Keenum to throw again. Open man is Quinn. He completes it. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Again, they'll throw with Keenan. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They do snap it to Keenum. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none. Yes, exactly right. Number 53, Mike 53. Here we go, here we go. Yes. Now a give to Breda. And he's got this down to the 35. Let's go, let's go. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The Redskins going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Here we go. 
Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Down to a knee goes Garoppolo, and that ought to do it. So the victory here for San Francisco, and this not always an easy proposition, Charles. You had a West Coast team that traveled east, but they got the job done. And there's so much that goes into it because your body time and your body clock different from what you're used to west because if you go east, you're going to lose up to three hours, right? So is your body going to be awake when it's time to play? A lot of teams actually rehearse it. They practice it. Maybe the week of the game, they move everything up to that time frame so guys get used to doing it that way. I remember when I played at Tennessee, when we had to go from east to west, our trainer, Tim Karen said, leave your watches on East Coast time. Every piece of information we got was East Coast standard time. Try to psychologically tell us what to do, as well as prepare our bodies the same way. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Baltimore. Crab cakes will be waiting for us, partners. We head to the airport. Heck yeah.